So let's make sure we don't accelerate beyond 30 or 35 by consuming our battery. We reached here with a range left in my bike at 23 kilometers. But right now, we have to drive back to the charging station Acre Bangalore, which is around 35 kilometers from this point. But there is a problem right now. I kept my bike untouched overnight in the parking and the range fell from 23 to 19 kilometers. Now we have to make this trip of 35 kilometers with just 19 kilometers left in the tank. So we have about 9 kilometers of getting down the hill and after that it's a national highway we are gonna ride. So all through the route down the hill, let's not use our battery and let's see how it goes. This is gonna be ultimate test to all the tricks that I have been telling you in my past videos. So let's stick to those tricks right now. We are driving down the hill. I am not raising the accelerator, not even a bit. I am just letting the slope do its job. While my bike moves down the slope, I want to regenerate the bike as much as possible. I am going to constantly grab my accelerator to the other side, regenerating as much as possible. It's been 3.5 kilometers down the road now so far. We have a lot to cover. At least the range has not fallen because we haven't used any of our battery so far. We are just making use of the steep roads. Did you see that? We just added like 1% of charge to the bike. Regeneration is working. My god, the trick is working. It's adding charge to the bike. Unbelievable. Let's maintain the battery regeneration some more time. See, regeneration works only when your speed is above 20 and just below 40, particularly when you're slowing down. So we got to grab our brakes very subtly to maintain the speed and hold the accelerator to the other side constantly to regenerate. That's a lot of work. I mean, holding the accelerator to the other side is not that easy. Experience of riding a bike takes over and you tend to accelerate the bike the usual way you have to be extremely focused while you do this right now i'm just trusting my experience and the sound of motor to believe that regeneration is happening i think every time we regenerate some icon here on the dashboard or some change of color on the dashboard should happen to convey that we are regenerating do you guys also feel the same let me know your thoughts in the comments and actually, you know, I want the regeneration to happen automatic here. Why would I want to regenerate each time manually? We all will be extremely delighted to add range simply from braking. And yes, the regeneration adds very, very less range. But still, why would I want it to be manual? Because it is a manual regeneration, we are probably not able to achieve the best of this feature. If it were automatic and efficient, few hundred meters or 200 meters every time we break if we just do it for a week riding in Bangalore traffic you can very easily add two or three kilometers of range what are your thoughts let's maintain the regeneration all through the route until the bottom of the hill and see see we have added two kilometers to the total range of the bike regeneration has worked amazingly I think this is the maximum regeneration that I was able to do on this bike ever. How much did you guys add to your bike with regeneration? Please let us know in the comments below. Also, we have reached the bottom of the hill. I wish we had steep roads for some more time so that we can add some more charge. Can't add any more range now. Route is pretty plain and smooth along the highway right from here to Acre Bangalore. And the good thing is we just added extra range of 2 kilometers, which comes very handy for this ride from now. Still we are not out of our tricks. So let's use the best of our tricks to get the maximum range from the bike. I am gonna ride at a speed not more than 35 kilometers per hour. Mostly I'll be trying to maintain the speed between 30 and 35. And remember if you maintain the constant speed while you ride ether you will get the most range from the bike. To be honest, the battery regeneration on Aether bikes is not that good. It usually adds not more than 200-300 meters when you regenerate. But because we constantly regenerated all through the route for 8 kilometers or 9 kilometers, we were able to add a range of 2 kilometers. So let's make sure we don't accelerate beyond 30 or 35 by consuming our battery. We are getting closer to the charging station now. 
this struggles with the range are only because we have a second generation of Ather 450X. I mean, Gen 3 gives almost 20 kilometers more range than this bike. And with that bike, we can very, very comfortably ride to Nandi Hills and drive back. If we had an Ola S1 Pro, it gives a range of 135 kilometers. It is a heaven for this ride. Very, very comfortably, we can reach back to the charger. But the problem with that is that we don't have the hypercharger yet, on this road at least. We are finally approaching the charger. We are much much closer now. We are doing pretty good. We have 4 km left in the bike and we are almost 3 km away from the charger. We are getting closer. I am getting confident and I am more anxious too. Because if your battery percentage is low, you can't really trust the amount of range that you can squeeze on this road particularly because it has the headwind, it is a highway, you have to maintain some speed and there is no regeneration that you can do with the braking stuff so it is a bit challenging right now I think I should find some shortcut to make sure I reach the charger as soon as possible Finally, finally after a long anxious time we just reached the charger, we made it Guess what? We reached here with almost 2 kilometers left in the bike. Would you believe that? Let's plug in the bike for charge immediately. What an unbelievable ride it was. To be honest, I never believed I could do this. I was mentally prepared that I would end up on the roads with no charge. But the tricks have worked unbelievably well. We covered 35 kilometers with only 19 kilometers left on the bike. And we made it with 2 kilometers left. I think that regeneration added a huge value here. See, if you own an electric bike, just remember these tricks. Battery regeneration whenever possible. Drive at a speed not faster than 40 kmph if you are on long drives. And maintain a consistent speed to get as much range as possible. Have you tried this before? Do let us know your experience in the comments below.